Good morning, fans of Prefteer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday here, 09 December, day before the Airbnb IPO, which is slated to uh, start trading tomorrow. We all saw this DoorDash valuation as well. I mean, I've seen some crazy shit in my time, but 40 billion for a bicycle food delivery company. Um, tricky to get my head around that. Pretty tricky. Um, I mean, if you believe that restaurants are going to be closed forever and this paradigm that we're living in now is permanent, I guess maybe maybe that company can make a bit of money but is DoorDash the pets.com of uh, of this millennial generation maybe sure doesn't make any sense to me um, but what do I know anyway uh, let's look at currencies and let's look at Bitcoin let's look at dollar cad today BOC is on the uh, on the docket nothing else really of note as far as releases today so I don't know, as you can see euro dollars just dicking around here uh, are we gonna take one last trip down through 120 78 before ECB maybe inconclusive uh, are we gonna break 121 77 today maybe I doubt it uh, I think just consolidation, soft, low vol consolidation uh, is on the cards. Cable hysteria will be based on uh, news flow and comments from the carnival. I guess Boris is heading over to Brussels. I, I don't. I, I've lost track on what the next headline is going to be. Um, you want to buy low ones in sterling. The um, the trend is up here. That's all I'll say about that. I mean, easier said than done, right? Trying to buy low ones in sterling. Dollar Swiss on its knees. Um, a lot of people, including us, on Friday started trying to play with the idea of longs. Uh, Euro Swiss took the brunt down at 107.70 now, down sort of 50 ticks. Let's take a look at this Euro Swiss. Why is this happening? Uh, don't know. Could be some year-end hedging. Um, obviously, all of these huge Swiss corporations, Nestle, Roche, Novartis, any shit they sell in Europe, they got to turn back into Swiss francs. Uh, could be some year-end hedging here. I don't know what is going on with Euroswiss, but bang, 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 five big red days. When I say big, that's air quotes, right, for Euro Swiss Vol, which is like four. Um, but Euro Swiss on the back foot, which is dragging Dollar Swiss down, which is hurting the case uh, for longs. So we just square Dollar Swiss, we're going to leave it alone. Dollar Yen is literally doing dick all. Um, you can see there's a little bit of a pennant here. Dollar yen's tough because it just trades and fits and starts, right? It's dead, 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 dead. Then it goes 100 ticks. Dead, 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 dead. Then it goes 100 ticks. Uh, and we throw in like a kajillion of these pennants because this is what happens. Um, it goes dead, dead, dead. And then bang, 100 up. Dead, dead, dead. Bang, 100 down. I think you just wait for 70. I think through 70 there's going to be some money to be made. Um, but dollar yen not doing much. Euro yen tried the downside, didn't like it. Back in the middle of the range, sterling yen. You can imagine how fucking screwed up this shit is. Technically, you have kind of a pivot here at 45, 40-45. But this is not a technically driven chart, right? This is a news driven chart. So you can use your technicals to help you manage risk. 
but um, candlesticks don't tell you too much in sterling these days. Dollars are through 10 paid, never traded there again. We did not have that on. We were in risk off mode yesterday, um, which totally didn't work. But um, so we missed this fucker. 20 handles, no pain. Look at those reds, red, 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 red rum, red rum. Great movie, The Shining. Scared the living fucking Christ out of me as a child. Anyway, dollars are, I don't know what to do with that. They had some good economic numbers that drove it, and then it just kept driving. It just could not get out of its own way. 793. I mean, 1493, excuse me. Um, not sure what to do with that. I'm not, uh, I'm not digging czar here at 1493. I can tell you that much for free. Um, but we are risk on. It's like on tenter hooks. We're on this high wire exactly like we were last year in December, in January, and into the beginning of February where we just are waiting for the shoe to drop. Um, valuation's way too high. I think forward PE is 22, 23 now in the US. You have these asinine IPOs that make zero sense. Um, you got these SPACs who are just buying shit and flipping it. They're just flipping private companies like they were uh, you know houses in Las Vegas some worrying shit out there but that said price is our god and price is telling us you know S&P's are 3710 so just chill out don't need to get your bear claws out be patient if you can't buy then do nothing can't buy risk do nothing and don't have FOMO right so we're looking at a FOMO chart here uh, why didn't we sell through 1510? I don't know. We didn't move on, grow up. Uh, such is life. Dollar Mex following Dollar Czar. I like Dollar Mex. If you want to be long one of these sort of emerging market type currencies, I like Mex better than Czar. Um, just because of the, the oil price. Uh, and I think Biden as a president is going to just help Mexico get Mexico back on track anyway also on its knees what was the low 70 1970 from the 8th anyway Aussie's bid as you can imagine uh, recent range highs let's go to the daily reaching recent range highs uh, are 55 is this gonna break? Might, might do. Can Aussie go to 80, 85, 90? Can it go to parity? Of course it can. Have a look, 2011. How you like them apples? So broaden your mind, people. This could go much farther than you think it can. Uh, Trade the price. 74.55. Somebody's going to let the dogs out up through there, actually, now that I'm looking at it a little more closely. Keep an eye on that. The old uh, little brother, Kiwi, not doing too much. Still, still a half percent away from the highs. Um, tell our cat, let's look at this. Arguably the the hawk, the most hawkish central bank of the G, um, the G10. Group of clowns. Um, oils higher. They could be hawkish today. Uh, I don't know how. I don't know. I don't know. They're not going to raise rates, obviously, but uh, they could be neutral to hawkish. So what are we looking for? One way to play this is wait to see if we break this sort of 128.32 
between 32 and say 62 pre-BOC which is kind of like are they going to take out some weak shorts and as they're taking out those shorts um, fade that because uh, I do think these guys are going to be at least neutral uh, I don't think they're going to be dovish they don't give a rat's ass about the price of dollar cad and historically 127 is meaningless for those of you who were born like in the last one year um you know this is the dollar cad chart we're dead center right 160 is hysterical high 90 is the hysterical low god i remember that that caused me some grief when we went down to 90 cents in dollar cad I'll have to tell that story for another day. Um, so, I don't know. Bullish. Uh, bullish CAD. Looking for more of a hawkish tone from these fuckers. Uh, how do you play it? Let's just see where the price is. We still got, I don't know, eight hours before, uh, before the trumpets sound. Just thinking out loud. What if the BOC members rode into the meeting on moose? That'd be so awesome. Wearing hockey helmets. Be great. Aren't stereotypes awesome? Any of you woke fucks who are gonna get upset with me for that? Go back in your uh back in your hole. Anyway, um Gold. Not sure what to do with this. All this risk on gold's giving back some shit. Should be should be supported at this 53 zone on the day. Um, come a long way. 100 bucks from the lows. Uh, consolidation probably looks likely. Yes. Anyone want some apples? Gap up. All this vaccine positivity. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. This is way stretched, but you got to wait. Got to wait for price to tell you. We thought price was telling us yesterday. Uh, when we were trading down at 64, looked quite bearish. Uh, but then when we got back through 87, or really 91, um, you knew it was dick in a box. So... Let's just see how we go. Surely we'll remain marginally bid until this uh, these IPOs are done. Um, but we're very, very worried and concerned about valuations. ZB, sell, sell, sell. Um, as far as uh, yield, not doing too much. This gets interesting through 1%. This one, the long term, gets interesting through 176. Finally, Bitcoin. Uh, you get the feeling I'm just talking today to hear myself talk because there's not a lot going on. Bank of Canada is really the main theme today. Uh, Bitcoin getting smashed a bit. Throw some lonely bids in down there. This can go a lot further than you think. Uh, we saw some headlines yesterday about the Mount Gox liquidation fund people, whatnot. Uh, you know, that guy controls like 100 to 150,000 coins. If he, um, if he needs to pull, pull the plug on that and pay out all of these uh, account holders who got fucked... This will weigh, this will weigh on BTC. So heads up, that news is out there. I'm not on the front line of that news, but um, be careful, people. There's some possible selling coming to the market. But if there is, this is a good, that just means try and soak some up. Maybe I don't know between 14 and 12. Because if this guy's going to sell 150,000 coins, that's um, that's a lot. Somebody do the math one. 150 times 20,000. Anyway, I've said a lot today, uh, and there's not much to say. Wait for BOC. Keep an eye on this Aussie. See what happens here uh, at the highs. Be patient. 
be very, very patient. Ciao, 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 ciao.